I was very lucky. While I was still a student at Yale, I, in the summertime, uh, did my summers at Williamstown Theater Festival. And so that was summer stock. And back in the day, it truly was summer stock. And you, uh, again, it felt a lot like school, like boot camp. You would, you would work until 2, 3 in the morning. You'd go sleep like, for a handful of hours, and you'd go back in the shop at like 8 in the morning and try to get stuff done. And back then, as designers uh, or design assistants, you would uh, assist on maybe two or three main stage shows. So professional designers, um, I think back then it was like, I assisted Willa Kim, Laura Bauer, um, all kinds of really big, wonderful Broadway and, and regional designers. Um, and then also you would get to design three or four uh, um, other state shows, so the smaller shows, again with amazing directors like Barry Edelstein and you know, like opportunities that that, uh, that are, I think, very rare. And it was great. Again, uh, trial by fire. You just get in there, you have to build some stuff, you have to assist, you gotta figure out the re local resources, you just had to do it. And, the, and Williamstown, um, there are various levels. There's interns, there's uh, um, assistants, there are uh, you know, young artists, there are very established artists, there are movie stars, you know, also in the production level. You get to see and meet all these different people. And uh, I met somebody who was just starting off uh, as a director, Darko Chesniak, and uh, he was doing like a children's show, and he saw some of my work um, on the wall, and we became friends, and he asked me to, to uh, design one of his shows. And that's how I began, you know, I, it was somebody who's just starting off, and we've grown together over the years. It's been 42 shows now together. And he just did Gentleman's Guide, he directed Gentleman's Guide. Uh, so we're up for our Tonys together on our first Broadway show. In my case, because I'm Canadian, I didn't do a lot of assisting um, because of my visa. But um, I think this, these basic rules apply no matter what discipline you are in the theater, whether, whether you're an actor, director, um, designer. Um, you kind of need to tip the scales in a way that uh, makes a show worth it for you. Money, um, the, the people that you're working with, the uh, the project, so they have to, or just the, the the artistic interest in it, they have to be. If one is really, if you're not getting paid a lot, some of the other scales really have to like tip the balance for you to be to make it worth it for you. Um, maybe it's like artistically amazing, um, the the, and then the people that you're working with are great. It doesn't pay a lot. You know, I think there has to be some sort of payoff. Payoff, and I think it's okay sometimes to say, I'm making a lot of money not that interested uh, artistically or whatever, but I have to do what I have to do to survive, and there's no shame in that. You learn the hard way. I mean, there's time, I remember doing uh, one particular show, and I was crying, and it was like the most awful, abusive experience. And uh, looking back, that was, that, that didn't really have, I, th I thought it was a resume builder. I think one of the uh, things I would, I would, advise before jumping into projects is to ask around a little bit. It's a small community, so if it's something you're not sure about, um, whether uh, it, it tips the scales in, in a balanced way, it's, it's good to ask around because um, you don't want to get in a situation where you, you hate your life. Because we don't get paid enough in general to hate this job. I mean, if there's something else you'd rather do, you should go do it because this is a hard life. <laughs> it's a hard life. And so uh, you, should, you should love what you're doing.